Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays and I'm in the Kurfürst, a tier 10 German battleship. I'm on the map Northern Waters, it's arms race, you are tier 10, no carrier, unfortunately there is a sub. Now speaking of subs, subs are actually the best at taking buffs in arms race, because unlike a capture point, you don't need to be in there for a long time, right? In a buff, you just need to be in there for a second. So a sub could technically just dive in, surface, grab the buff, and then dive again. And there isn't really anything anybody can do about it. Now our sub is going for the buff, so that's a... Well, that's a good start, right? It might actually be competent. Our Smarland is reversing. I suppose it doesn't want to get too close to the demon, and it's just here to radar any potential enemy destroyer that comes in. And, oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Our sub went to almost touching the, the buff and then made a turn. Like, it was basically there, it could have touched it, and then the last second it put on the brakes, made a hard turn, and was like, nope, I'm not gonna be useful in any way or form. Oh well. Meanwhile, the enemy sub is just grabbing the buff because, uh, you know, it's a smart thing to do, I guess. Well, there is some good news though. An enemy Vincent has overcommitted. It's pushing in way too heavily. It's not gonna be able to drop in a concealment from here. It probably can't turn away because of that island. I think it would try to flee right now. It, be it would beach. So it's committed to pushing in more. Well, speaking of pushing, there is a sub coming my way. I've got a Hydro going. Unfortunately, Hydros can only see subs that are not diving. Well, we can spot the diving sub at uh, <laughs> two kilometers, which is probably way too late. So this is this is bad. I'm probably gonna eat sub fish at some point. Now at least we got the Vincent, and even more importantly, we got the Vincent before it got the heat. Now it would still be a good trade, right? Sinking a Vincent, even if they got a buff out of it, but obviously denying them. A heal is making it even more juicy. So there are apparently torpedoes on my left side, but if I go forward again, it should be fine. And here is the sub. Now, you see the sub has made the mistake of surfacing inside my hydro, so it got detected and then went down and got immediately undetected. I think it's like the 15 meter mark or so, that, that's the difference. So the buff it, you can actually hydro it for the full area. And when it's below it, you can it can only be hydroed within kilometers. So anyway, the sub just pressed the button, went down again and is safe. And my depth charge is even missed. Now anyway, I know that there is a destroyer in the 1-2 line somewhere. Together with the Shikishima and the Des Moines. And I had to sort of escape in this direction to not get stopped. And uh, now I'm unfortunately going towards a submarine. And as we've established, there is nothing I can do about this. Now the question is, where do I go from here? There is a heal going to spawn in uh, a bit, but it's gonna take a long time. I'm not sure if I wanna sit here. Now I could try to go around here and then push left. That would potentially get me away from this up. See, the subs have uh, an issue. I don't even know where it's coming from. It's gonna be launching single line torps. So I can't angle against it anyway. And there really isn't anything I can do about it. If I push like this huge enemy blob, it's probably gonna end badly. So I might just go around here and engage the Shikishima. Now there is still the, the destroyer. That's somewhere over there. I'm surprised it hasn't taken the, the health buff, because that would be rather obvious. Now it's possible the enemy destroyer is just flanking further south and is trying to torpedo the poison the thunder, but it would be good news. But I'm caught in a very bad spot regardless. And... It really, the presence of the sub just made it very hard to come up with a good decision, because as we've established, it could attack me from anywhere. There isn't really anything I can do about it. And oh shit, there it is. <laughs> uh, I was hoping since the sub was last seen pushing in the other side that by going this way it would hopefully find a different target, but that didn't happen. 
now I gotta commit and go in. I mean, the best way of dealing with a sub is just to running away from it, but you can't run away from a sub if you don't know where it is, so... <laughs> uh, well... I'm just gonna randomly drop. I know the torpedoes came from that direction somewhere, but I have absolutely nothing to go on. If a sub isn't going to ping, right, then you don't really have any indication other than the direction the troops were came. Uh, wolves came from. So I'm trying to focus it in more cause it's squishy and... Oh, it's that squishy. <laughs> well, that was lucky. <laughs> okay, let's go after the Shikishima. I have the smart on here with me, which is adding some torpedoes. I'm getting relatively low. The good thing is my ma uh, nose is... Oh! Oh, actually, I'm close enough to be hydroing the sub, so we drop some uh, depth charges there. Meanwhile, the Shikishima. So, as I was saying, the Rufus actually has a Shikishima proof nose, so if you are reasonably angled, it can't just uh, harm you that. I mean, it can still go for a superstructure and so on. And if you show too much broadside, it might be able to get penetrations in your upper belt and such. But it can't go through your nose. Meanwhile, I try to drop a dead uh, oil spill, but the sub is moving too fast and it looks like it's moving that direction. Maybe I should have waited to see if there were more oil spills to predict where it was going. Now the good news is we are... Well... We've got two uh, heals, so uh, I'm actually regenerating quite a bit of hit points. In addition to my regular heal. So, uh, trying to drop that sub again. There it is. It's finally inside my uh, idle range again. Now I can't drop exactly on top of me, but the way it's going, we'll drop here behind. And, oh, it's gonna make a turn though. Will I get it? Yes! <laughs> Ah, oh, that was satisfying. Okay. Yoshino is not that well angled. Ooh, Citadel. This could be my Kraken. Come on, Yoshino. Be my Kraken. No. <laughs> well, I paid dearly for that Citadel hit, right? I paid dearly for that. With my next RNG roll. Now this time, um, it's in the process of turning and, well, at least I got a hit. So there is another heal spawning right in front of us. In 9 seconds, the Smaland is gonna immediately take it and it's gonna help me recover in more hit points. This battle is looking fairly well for us. I would have to say. Then again, we have what, two more ships. It's not... Uh, it's not necessarily over just yet, but hey. Also, by the way, there is still a destroyer that has never been spotted, and it must be the Shima that came around like the 1 2 line that took me early on in the game. Because we saw torpedoes from the direction, but we've never spotted the destroyer here. So, uh, a Shima that has never been spotted so far, it's probably not very good. You might think, right, that it's. Uh, that this is a good Shima trait, but it means that it probably never tried to take an objective, never tried to spot our own destroyers, and it's just long-range torpedoing, which in a mode that's uh, it's about taking objectives is probably not the best way to use your Shima. <laughs> so there is that. Now the Yoshino is in my secondary range, and yeah, there is the Shima dropping me from the rear. Looks like it got a hit in, but this is fine. This is perfectly fine. My second is also opening up on the other side. I think they are seeing the Hallen. And, uh, well, there's my Kraken. Secondary is got the Yoshino. Now we can focus on the Hallen. The Hallen is also the only one blocking the center and the enemy is... The enemy has lost too many ships at this point, I'd say. 
There is an enemy poison, pretty healthy, obviously running away. Because uh, otherwise it would be too helpful for its team. So this poor Harlan is... Uh, <laughs> Well, this poor Halan is getting focused pretty heavily. Down it goes. Now we just focus the poison. That one Shima there might be cornered. And I somewhat suspect we'll never see the last Shima. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if there's 20 kilometer torpedoes, right? So... Enemy is down to 40 points. As soon as they lose a ship, it's gonna be over. Oh, wait a moment, it could also be over by us grabbing buffs, right? If, if we grab a buff, we reduce the enemy points, I think. This poison just keeps running. Of course, if we just win by grabbing another buff, that means I don't get the cap experience, that would be a shame. And yeah, this is a 20 kilometer shimmer, I would say. <laughs> uh. Or maybe not, I guess there were. Then again, I don't know, I could see it being that far away. It wasn't the most useful Shima regardless. So finally we've engaged the poison, but the enemy is at zero. So here we are with the results. And the first thing we notice is that I'm an idiot. The undetected ship was a gearing, not Shima. <laughs> oh well, uh, close enough. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the enemy gearing might be reasonably high on the scoreboard, but make no mistake, that ship was relatively useless to its team. It ignored all of the objectives and it didn't provide the spotting uh, that the enemy would have needed. So there is that. Well, good for us, I guess. So I had a nice game. I got myself a Kraken. I got some brawling and I sank a sub. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you next time.